Hey friends, I'm Greta from New York. Please like and subscribe. If you do, you'll get your dream gift on your coming birthday. I was born in a small town to a single mom who always celebrated my interests and made sure I felt valued. Since I was a little girl, I've always loved singing and performing. And mom always supported me. When I was eight, I participated in my school's talent show with a singing act. I was so excited, but when I got on stage, the nerves hit me and I started shaking like a tree in the wind. And when I looked out into the audience and saw my mom smiling up at me, I knew I could face my fears and give a great performance. Don't worry, honey, you've got this. Phew. Okay. La 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 la. Yeah, I used to get some stage fright when I was younger. I loved singing more than anything in the world, but sometimes my nerves got the best of me. All of that went away after my friends told me how good I was. You're like so talented. Really? Totally. I wish I could sing like you. With my mom and friends supporting me, I felt unstoppable. So when all that was taken away, it was, well, difficult. When I was 13, I got the opportunity to audition for a prestigious performing arts high school called Cole House. I came in prepared with my very favorite song. La 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 la. Incredible. Superbly performed. It had been my dream ever since I was eight to attend, so I was thrilled when they offered me a spot the following fall semester. Cole House was all the way in New York City. I'd only ever been there once to see the Phantom of the Opera on Broadway, so the idea of going there to live was intimidating. It was a boarding school, so I would be away from home for the first time in my life. My home friends wouldn't be joining me. They were all staying back to start regular high school in our hometown, but they were so excited for me. Go get them, Greta. We can't wait for you to take NYC by storm. It would also be the first time my mom and I lived apart. Though I hated the idea of being away from her, I knew I needed to follow my dreams. And of course, my mom was super supportive. I'm so proud of you, honey. She dropped me off at the train station and waved goodbye. See you in a few months, my Broadway star. As soon as I stepped foot in Manhattan, all sorts of doubts started creeping in. What if I don't make any friends? I'm not a good enough singer for performing arts high school. Maybe I should just go back home. My fears just got bigger and louder when I stepped foot in my new school. It was gorgeous, with high vaulted ceilings and brightly painted classrooms. Just as I was looking up at the beautiful stained glass windows, I was suddenly shoved to the ground by a pretty girl. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. How rude. Could she tell I was out of place here? I didn't have too much time to think about it because my first class started in two minutes. I ran down the hallway just in time for the bell to ring and sat down in the last open chair right across from the girl who shoved me. Just my luck. I see you've met Lena. She's a pill. A boy sitting right next to me with curly hair and a cute smile put out his hand. Hi, I'm Daryl. I'm Greta. Nice to meet you. You must be new here. Was it so obvious? It was like I had a sign on my forehead screaming, new girl. Daryl must have noticed my concern. I just haven't seen you around here. I would have noticed a pretty girl like you. I hoped he couldn't tell I was blushing. Yeah, I just moved here from Scaniatalis. Mmm, never heard of it. It's a tiny town. I really love it there, but I couldn't miss the opportunity to go to school here. Cole House is pretty incredible. And this is my favorite class. Mrs. Larimer is the bomb. Just then, a tall woman with a long braid and huge green glasses entered the room. Hello, class. I see some familiar faces. I see some shiny new faces. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Mrs. Larimer, and this is Singing for the Stage. I looked around the classroom and saw a lot of smiling, eager faces. It seemed like a lot of people really liked Mrs. Larimer. I hear we have a new student in school this year. Class, let's give a big coal house welcome to Greta. Hi, Greta. Nice to meet you. Just then, Lena chimed in. Can't wait to hear you sing. I felt like she was taunting me, like she felt she was better than me. What was this girl's problem? Before I could think about it too much, Mrs. Larimer was addressing the class. Who's ready to present their audition cut? All of a sudden, every student reached into their backpack and pulled out binders full of sheet music. I looked down into my backpack. There was nothing but a pencil box, a notebook, and a bagged lunch in there. Did you not bring your music book? I couldn't believe Lena was calling me out in front of all these people. I just wanted to blend into the brightly colored wallpaper. Don't worry, it's your first day. No one expects you to be ready to perform. 
Greta, it's your first day, so we'll give you some time to settle and you can perform for us next week. Thanks, Mrs. Larimer. I shot a look at Lena so she would get the picture to just leave me alone. She caught my eye and smiled. What? Why would she tease me and then smile? What kind of mind games was she playing? Still holding my gaze, Lena's hand shot up in the air. I'm ready, Mrs. Larimer. Great. Lena, you have the floor. Lena gave the pianist her sheet music and started singing. I wanted to hate it, but she had an unmistakably gorgeous voice. When she finished singing, the class applauded. Great job, Lena. I can tell you've been keeping up with your vocal exercises this summer. Mrs. Larimer gave Lena some constructive criticism, but I was distracted. I felt like screaming, yeah, she has a beautiful voice, but that doesn't give her an excuse to be rude. But I just kept it bottled up inside, sitting politely. Who would like to go next? I wondered how anyone could feel confident following such a great performance. I would certainly be intimidated singing after Lena. I was wary of her, but there was no denying that she was a beautiful singer. Before I had too long to think about it, Daryl was standing up from his chair. I'll go, Mrs. Larimer. Daryl handed his sheet music to the pianist and sang a little bit to relay the tempo of his song. Even just hearing that much, I could tell Daryl was good. Really good. The pianist nodded and Daryl took his place in the center of the classroom. He looked at me and winked. I swear I turned bright red. Did everyone see that? Lena looked back at me, scowling. Daryl began his song. It was incredible. He sang with such confidence. The vibrations of his voice pulsated, making it feel like the room itself was breathing. I looked around, and I could tell everyone else was enjoying themselves as well. Everyone, that is, except Lena. Well done, Daryl. That song really suits you. Thanks, Mrs. Larimer. Mrs. Larimer gave Daryl some adjustments and had him sing parts of the song over again. If this is what my new school was going to be like, just listening to cute boys sing, I had nothing to be worried about. I was starting to like it here. That evening, I was settling into my new bedroom in the dorms. As I was rounding the corner with some of my favorite snacks from the corner store, I heard a familiar voice. Hi, Greta. I couldn't believe it. Lena was my next door neighbor. I was going to have to share a wall with her for the entire school year. I could feel my blood boiling under my skin. Hi, Lena. Is this your first time in NYC? She was smirking. What, did she think she was better than me just because she lived here longer than I did? I had to take a deep breath to control myself. No, actually, I came here to see Phantom of the Opera years ago. Oh, I love Phantom. I've seen it like seven times. Okay, now she was bragging. Whatever, there was no reason to get worked up. I was just gonna remove myself from the situation. That's really cool for you, Lena. And then I shut my bedroom door and ate a whole bag of my favorite snack, Crispy Crisps. The following week, when I got into the singing for the stage class, I made sure to bring my very own music book with me. I was ready to finally perform for my new classmates. Greta, over here. I looked over to see Daryl beckoning me towards him. He had saved the seat next to him with his backpack. Wow, cute, talented, and thoughtful. This guy seemed too good to be true. Lena looked at Daryl from across the room and rolled her eyes. I plopped down in the seat Daryl saved for me and looked back at Lena. What was her problem with me? Don't let Lena give you a hard time. This is kinda awkward, but she and I actually used to date. I was shocked, but I tried not to let Daryl notice. How could such a lovely guy date such a cruel girl? As if he could read my mind, Daryl responded, Yeah, I know, I know. She was actually really nice when we started dating. And she has such a gorgeous voice. We loved singing duets together, but things didn't work out, and now it seems like she's taking it out on you. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I appreciate you telling me. I had so many more questions for Daryl, but before I got a chance to ask any of them, Mrs. Larimer came into the room. Okay, class, let's get ready to sing. Greta, have you had time to prepare your audition cut? I was ready. I had been practicing all weekend. But now, I felt so nervous. I clutched my music binder to my chest, willing myself to disappear behind it. Break a leg, Greta. My vision blurred until all I could see was Lena's stupid, smug face smirking up at me. All of a sudden, I felt like I was eight years old again. My voice caught in my throat, and I couldn't stop my hands from shaking. I wished my mom was here to give me a reassuring smile. I longed for words of support from my home friends. I searched for Daryl among the sea of unfamiliar classmates, hoping he would provide me with some fortitude. He had been so sweet to me this past week. 
He was the only person who seemed interested in being my friend. But when I scanned the room, I was shocked to see Daryl whispering into another girl's ear. <laughs> oh, Daryl, you're so funny. <laughs> she was giggling and looking up at me. Was I being paranoid or were they making fun of me? Tears started building a fortress in my eyes and my throat clamped down in a desperate attempt to keep them from tumbling down my cheeks. With all the straining to keep myself from crying, there was no way I would be able to sing a single note. I ran out of the classroom before my body betrayed me and I let anyone see me cry. I ran down the hallway and slipped into the bathroom stall. I was finally alone. Leaning against the cool door, I let the sobs escape. Greta, is that you? Lena's unmistakable lilt seeped under the stall door. What the heck was she doing here? Did she just want to rub it in? How I came all the way to NYC and couldn't even sing in a singing class? I felt like my brain was a volcano and lava was about to seep out of my ears. Lena, leave me alone. Haven't you already done enough? What are you talking about? I know, I'm a failure. You don't need to tell me. You're not a failure. You know, my first time in singing for the stage, I got so nervous I sang my whole song off key. What? Was Lena trying to console me? Why are you telling me this? Because I like you and I don't want you to feel embarrassed. You like me? Then why have you been tormenting me all week? Tormenting you? What are you talking about? You tripped me on my first day. I didn't mean to trip you. I'm nearsighted and my glasses haven't come in yet. I didn't see you until I ran into you. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, well, what about when you talked down to me in the dorms? I just wanted to get to know you. You seemed so cool and I was new last semester, so I know how scary it can be to make new friends. I didn't mean to make you feel belittled. I'm sorry. But Daryl said you didn't like me because you and him used to date. Ah, oh, that's so like Daryl. He pursued me last semester when I was the new student. I was so excited to make a new friend and then it got romantic. But as soon as another new girl started here, he broke up with me. It's like he only has eyes for new girls. I just try to ignore him, but it's difficult because he has so many friends. And I just know he's telling them his own story about why we broke up. I was remembering my first week with a whole new perspective. Suddenly, every mean thing Lena did to me was a misunderstanding or a kind gesture. I felt so foolish to have believed Daryl. I emerged from behind the bathroom stall and looked at Lena with new eyes. She looked so apologetic. I embraced her in a big hug and before I knew it, we were both laughing at how silly the past week had been. Do you think you're ready to get back to class? Yeah, actually. When we got back to Mrs. Larimer's classroom, I could tell Daryl had been talking about me. Suddenly, his smile wasn't sweet, but a cruel smirk. Hi, Greta. I'm glad to see you back in class. Are you ready for your song? Seeing Daryl, I felt that familiar feeling of dread wash over me. But I looked over at Lena, and she gave me a reassuring nod and a warm smile. Having her on my side, I felt supported. I'm ready. I closed my eyes and started to sing. I felt a quiver in my voice at first, but then it got stronger and stronger, and soon I was just lost in the lyrics and the music. When the last note ended and I opened my eyes, everyone erupted in applause. Some people stood up while cheering and clapping, and some people were crying, including our teacher. Even Daryl looked stunned. Greta, your voice is so pure and beautiful. I think I can say for everyone that you've really moved us, and we're honored to have you here. Lena leapt forward and gave me a bear hug, and finally, I felt at home at my new school.